morning. That's right, Terry left for work ages ago. Mm. I can't say he was very happy. He passed by the shop on his way back from the pub last night and saw that I'd closed early. What did he say? Don't worry. I don't think he was suspicious. Which is more than can be said for that estate agent. <laughs> yeah. That was a close one, wasn't it? I've got a lot more to lose than you have. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, does... Look, you're not having second thoughts about this, are you? No. I'm too old to be caught in bed by strangers. You know, not some kind Teenager? Of... No. Look, I will sort something out. After oh, God, stop it. This is a nice surprise. Oh, you smooth talker. Mm. I've been thinking about you all morning. It's lunchtime and you still in your dressing gown. Well, I can take it off if you like. Oh, no, don't. I've got work to do and I won't be able to concentrate. Come upstairs. No. I've booked us into a hotel for the night. They travel well in. It's not exactly the risk, but at least we won't have estate agents bursting in on us. But I can't go just like that. What will I tell Terry? I thought you wanted to be with me. I do. Then meet me at the hotel. Oh. Terry, do you remember Betty used to work in the bookies, moved out to Essex when she retired? Oh, yeah. She's getting married. Mm -hmm. uh, she called to say she's having a hen night tonight. You want to go? Would you mind? The thing is, I'll have to stay overnight because you know what she's like when she hits the boohoos. When's the wedding? Saturday. And you were not invited because it's restricted numbers. Charming. Oh, you look lovely, darling. Oh, thank you. Doesn't she? Yes. Um, give my regards to Betty, will you? I will. So, it's you and me for supper, then? Uh, actually, I'm going out tonight seeing some friends. Gin and tonic, please. <sighs> Second wife took custody of the pool and the rest of it. I've got a loft apartment now. Views over the town you would not believe. <sighs> Sorry, Mike. Oh, I thought you weren't coming. But... Oh, never mind you here now. What do you want to drink? Oh, I didn't think you were old enough to have a son his age. I'll have a beer, thanks. Uh, You're terrific. I could positively eat you. Mm. Mm. Oh. Please excuse us, but we're not in the mood for drinking. Right. It's no rush, is it? Oh, we're supposed to have checked out by now. They'll charge us for another night. What am I going to tell Terry? Tell him you were held against your will and powerless to resist. It's not fair. Right, we'll pick up the phone. Tell him you ever did it last night. Oh. And you're going to be late. <laughs> <laughs> we should be going. It's even harder leaving now. Well, there's no choice. I've got to work. Not tonight. Well, what with all the hotel bills, I'm going to need every penny I can get. Mm. Well, we are coming back again, then. If you like. Mm. Well, I'll think about it. Mm. I'm going to be late. Don't go there. I've got to. And you've got to see Terry too. Oh, I hate this coming back to reality. I promise we'll get away soon. I've got to go. Mm. Mm. Go, 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 hurry up!